Good morning. Today we are starting off with a beautiful morning. Look at that glow coming off the horizon there as we're looking off to the east. The sun will soon rise directly out of the east on the equinox on Sunday, and uh, we'll have plenty of sunshine today to enjoy as well. So that means, of course, for the morning drive, we're doing just fine. And traffic picking up as the morning goes along here. We've got some good weather conditions, green lights for you for the morning drive and for later on this afternoon and evening as you're heading to where you need to be. We're looking at some good conditions, quiet, comfortable out there as well. It's not nearly as warm and muggy as it has been. Here's a look at our temperatures. We're down to a cool 48 right now in Harvey there, and a lot of us more into the 50s, a few 60s. It's 56 degrees in Fargo and 58 in Grand Forks. So comfortable temperatures. Our dew points are lower as well, meaning again that that humidity is down. Wind is lighter, but we do have a couple of gusts from time to time up along the international border. That's where we've been seeing gusts to 20, 25 miles per hour at times this morning as that last system continues to depart that region. Uh, wind is more westerly or southwesterly this morning and again more 5 to 15 miles per hour. And I've got a wide view of our radar and satellite map because there's just not a lot going on. We've got some clouds in northwest Minnesota. Those are kind of drifting eastward. So eventually we'll see more clear skies for you too. And then looking way out to the north and west in the upper left corner of your screen there. That's our next system that's going to have some influence on us later tonight and into tomorrow. So we're going to be talking about that here in your hour by hour planner. The daytime hours today look fantastic. We'll have these clouds that will be departing again in our northeastern viewing area through the morning. So by nine o'clock, you know, a lot of us again experiencing some sun temperatures rising through the 60s and eventually getting into the 70s today at lunchtime right around 70 degrees at that point with that westerly wind at times gusting to around 20 miles per hour. And then this afternoon, check out these temperatures really nice. It's going to be warm and comfortable. We're looking at about 70 up along the international border to around 80 down by South Dakota and in between everybody's into the 70s at that point with mostly sunny skies. This is 4 p.m. That's when that homecoming bash begins. Of course, we've got the parade happening later and temperatures should be really nice here through the evening hours. This is 8 p.m. Still around 70 degrees in Fargo at that point and other places into the 60s to around 70 around 8 o'clock. So that means pretty good Friday night football weather as well. You know, you might want the sweatshirt if you're sitting in the stands for a while. It might start to feel a little cool in the 60s, but beyond that, looking great. And the chances for rain and thunder are there. They're going to hold off until we get into the late night hours. We may see that first sprinkle or shower or two in the northwestern parts of our viewing area late. Overnight, a chance for some storms. You can see even in the south there may be a couple, but a lot of this is going to be more focused in the northern valley. And this is 7 a.m. on Saturday, and you can see that we've got some rain, maybe some thunderstorms going on at that point and getting into the day on Saturday. I can't rule that out for those of us, especially north of Highway 2. This is 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. Meanwhile, in the south, it's a lot better. If you're tailgating ahead of the football game on Saturday in Fargo for NDSU, uh, we're looking at uh, some pretty decent weather temperatures, 50s and 60s to start. And then here comes the wind behind this system. It's going to pick up and we're going to have some stronger gusts into the 30s uh, heading into the afternoon. And that's going to be that cooler air coming in and, and look at our temperatures by 4 p.m. 60s to near 70 and that's it. So much cooler weather coming in. We'll take a look at your forecast for the entire weekend coming up and your forecast is sponsored by, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, Innovative Basement Authority. It just keeps getting worse. These are telltale signs that water is shifting your foundation, but it's okay. We got it. Oh, this is done growing in this house. Okay. Cracking drywall is just one sign your foundation is compromised, but you can. Put water back in its place with a free inspection from Innovative Basement Authority. For a limited time, get $500 off any repairs when you call or go online today. Again, looking really good for today. It's late tonight, overnight, and into early Saturday where we have that chance for a shower or two, and more likely in the north. Sunday is our fall equinox. We'll have some sunnier skies. Temperatures are going to be cool. We're talking about some upper 60s, and that's it. And even Saturday is going to feel rather chilly with that wind kicking in as well. Uh, but overall, feeling more like fall, and you can see that happening all week long. Temperatures more into the 60s to some 70s. Even those numbers are right around average or even above average uh, coming up for next week. So it's a cool down, but not actually that cool for this time <laughs> of year. It's just going to feel a little chilly yes. compared.